if you consider our cell to be a factory then the peroxisome inside the cell which is basically basically a microbody and cell organelle is compared to the recycling center of the cell so just like a recycling center recycle important stuff and get rid of unnecessary stuff peroxisome is used for similar purposes and in this video we would look at the structure function and the molecular details of peroxisome so peroxisome is thought to be produced from er itself now let's just talk about the overall function of peroxisomes so first of all peroxisome is an important site where catabolism of long chain fatty acid take place and also branch chain fatty acids d amino acids and polyamines are catabolized in the peroxisome secondly the reduction of reactive oxygen species takes part it uh, takes place in the peroxisome because peroxisome has an important enzyme known as catalase and in a moment we would look at that in details other than that biosynthesis of plasmalogen happens in the peroxisome and plasmalogen is so important for our nervous system especially for our neurons other than that so approximately 10% of the total enzymatic activity for important for pentose phosphate pathway happens in peroxisome it turns out that important uh, enzymes of pentose phosphate pathway are present in the peroxisome and lastly people still debate and scientists are still not sure but people think that isoprenoid and cholester cholesterol can also be synthesized inside the uh, peroxisome because the synthesis machinery is present there so it's still debated but we'll take a look at at least the three functions three top functions in a lot more details so first of all peroxisome contains reducing enzymes such as catalase and it has many oxidase enzyme as well so oxidase and catalase enzymes are the key enzymes present in the ribos uh, in the in the uh, peroxisomes now the enzyme oxidase would basically oxidize the any long chain fatty acid or d amino acid etc ultimately give rise to h2o2 now here r is basically could be a long fatty acid chain or could be a amino acid a d amino acid chain as well but the main thing is the h2o2 the h2o2 production is not good for the cell because h2o2 is also a reactive oxygen species somehow this h2o2 need to be converted into a less harmful state less harmful product and that work is done by the enzyme catalase so catalase catalyze the breakdown of hydrogen peroxide to water and oxygen and water and oxygen none of them are harmful to the cell so this is how the uh, harmful substances are recycled and broken down inside the peroxisome apart from that the main uh, function of peroxisome is breakdown and oxidation of long chain fatty acids just like mitochondria oxidation of fatty acid also takes place in peroxisome but there is some basic difference between the two in peroxisome acetyl coa is produced but the problem is the acetyl coa is not coupled with uh, the acetyl coa is produced but this process does not yield atp just like happened in mitochondrial beta oxidation but this acetyl coa which is produced is an important recycle re recycled product because acetyl coa is at, at the center of many catabolic and anabolic pathways you can see in this picture from ketone body production to fatty acid production cholesterol biosynthesis to uh, phospholipid biosynthesis in many of these processes acetyl coa is so important and that is generated inside the peroxisome as well and that could be used by the cell to produce several other metabolic products in that respect peroxisomes function is pretty important now let's just talk about how does a uh, plasmalogen synthesis takes place in the uh, peroxisome so the peroxisome has all the important enzymes uh, which is uh, which is important for initial step of production of the plasmalogen so plasmalogen is produced from a dihydroxy acetone phosphate or dhap and by a sequential step uh, it forms one alkyl 
G3P, which gets transported into the endoplasmic reticulum, and the successive steps happen in the endoplasmic reticulum. So both paroxysmum and endoplasmic reticulum takes important part for uh, synthesis of plasmalogens, which is so important for the nervous system itself, especially for its detoxification and recycling function. Paroxysm is important for liver and kidney because most of the xenobiotic and harmful compounds are detoxified in liver and kidneys. So paroxysm in liver cells or kidney cells are very important. Now let's just talk about how these paroxysomal enzymes are actually transported to the paroxysome and it's an important mechanism. So as expected, this is encoded by the genes inside the nucleus which transcribe to produce the mRNA of these enzymes and this mRNA goes out and on the ribosome present on the endoplasmic reticulum membrane the protein is translated and folded inside the ER. Now once it is in the ER it is then transported to the paroxysome. Now any protein or any enzyme which is transported to the paroxysome has an important paroxysomal target sequence or PTS. Now this paroxysomal target sequence helps to target the protein towards paroxysome and there is an important translocon channel on the membrane of the paroxysome known as PEC17 which is helping the paroxysomal uh, target sequence containing protein to get inside the paroxysome. So let's follow the paroxysomal target sequence containing protein here. Let's say this is a oxidase enzyme which is needed in the paroxysome. So this paroxysome targeting sequence would eventually bind to paroxysome targeting sequence receptor or PTSR. Now this PTSR interacts with PEC17 channel and allow this uh, enzyme which is need, which is required to be delivered into the paroxysome to get inside the paroxysome. And that is how the delivery of or targeting protein into the paroxysome takes place. Now, several diseases such as adrenoleukodystrophy is a X-linked disease which is occurring due to the dysfunction of paroxysome. So, paroxysome function is pretty important. Now, paroxysomal oxidase is actually helping to convert the long chain fatty acid to acetyl CoA itself, right? Now, these uh, oxidase enzyme need to be delivered to the paroxysome at the first place, right? But the ADL gene basically codes for one uh, particular translocon protein. This translocon protein is actually helping the oxidase enzymes to get inside the paroxysome. Now, in case of the mutated ADL gene, what happens is the a uh, mutated gene can no more produce the translocon protein and as a result the important oxidase enzyme cannot enter the paroxysome as a result the oxidation of long chain fatty acid does not take place in that disease situation as a result the symptoms are detrimental so this is how paroxysome is super important for our uh, body and for our cellular physiology now in plants don't have paroxysome but they have a very similar structure known as glyoxysome. Glyoxysome function in similar way just like paroxysome does. So it's a hub for uh, fatty acid oxidation in case of plants as well. Now beside paroxysomal like function glyoxysome is also very important for glyoxalate cycle in plants and that is how a similar structure which is in plant is also very important in terms of plant's physiology. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up and don't forget to like, share and subscribe and make sure you comment on this video that how do you like this video. Thank you.